This secret trick I'm about to tell you about will actually make your vehicles a little bit stronger and more powerful to use in free roam, which is actually really cool. So one of the big things that Rockstar added in the After Hours update were three vehicles, the Speedo, Mule, and Pounder Custom. Now, when doing nightclub delivery missions, these vehicles become more powerful than a standard vehicle. Uh, they can survive more bullets, they can survive more explosions. Essentially, it protects you while you deliver vehicles. However, if you use those same vehicles in free roam, they're just like normal cars. They blow up rather instantly, which is obviously not good. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a cool little trick in which you can get that delivery mission effect in free roam, uh, which is kind of awesome. So the way you're going to be doing this is you obviously have to start a nightclub cell mission. Now, depending on how much cargo you have, you're either going to get a Speedo, a Mule, or a Pounder. Uh, the two best ones here would be the Pounder and the Speedo. The Mule is terrible. You don't want that at all. So I ended up getting a Speedo. And for this, you're going to complete the mission like normal. It does not matter what type of cell mission it is, whether it's just go from point A to point B. I had sort of a fun one that, you know, made me follow some helicopter around the map. So needless to say, it was kind of a boring five or 10 minutes. However, the important part is going to happen when you get to the final drop off. So normally, if you see that yellow or gold Corona, you would just drive into it to complete the cell mission. But doing that actually removes the vehicle. It disappears. Instead, what you want to do is bail out of the vehicle right before you hit that yellow Corona. So on PlayStation 4, that'd be triangle. Obviously on Xbox, that'd be Y. It's the exit vehicle button. Now in this video and my attempt that I literally did about five minutes ago, I did it a little bit too late. And because of that, I got locked into the vehicle during the goods sold cutscene. And you can see by doing so, I obviously completed the cell mission, but I lost the vehicle. So what you want to do is bail out just before you get to the gold Corona. I did it a little bit too late and it sort of sucked me in and I obviously lost it. However, I'm going to show you an example of what happens if you do it correctly. Now, this was posted by a user on the GTA forum site, Voodoo Hendrix, who was able to do this correctly. And you can see they dove out and it still delivers the goods. It's not like you lose the nightclub goods, but now he has access to that vehicle in free roam. And he could have driven this around, used it as a really cool armored vehicle. Instead, he decided to shoot a couple of RPGs at it, which ended up making it blow up. But that does prove that it carries over that sort of effect of being in a cell mission in free roam. And you can drive these vehicles around with enhanced and extra armor. So there has not been a lot of testing on this glitch as of yet. Like if the vehicle can be locked onto, you know, how long it can survive will it eventually kick you out? But apparently this is something that can be done. So I would take advantage of this before Rockstar ultimately patches this because this is a really cool way in which you can get extra powerful vehicles in free roam. Now, this is not the only glitch that works like this. There's a lot of VIP work and VIP missions where you can get a Ruiner 2000 that doesn't run out of missiles. You can get a bunch of armored or weaponized vehicles that will not blow up no matter how many rockets you shoot at them. So this glitch is very similar, just taking a vehicle that was meant for a mission or a free roam objective, and now you get to use it permanently in free roam for really whatever task you want. So although this does take a little bit of work, and it's not really convenient, like you have to be doing a sell mission in order to get it, uh, it's still pretty cool. And you can sell one little cargo of nightclub stuff and you'll still get a Speedo Custom. So it's not all that inconvenient at the end of the day, it's just the fact you have to do a cell mission in order to get this vehicle. And obviously, if you have a lot of cargo, um, it's something you might not wanna do. Like you might not necessarily wanna do a cell mission right then and there. So I do think it is cool. It's a great way to unlock the full potential of some of the new After Hours vehicles in Free Roam, which I think is kind of awesome. Me personally, I don't know why Rockstar didn't make the uh, Speedo and the Mule and the Pounder custom like this in free roam by default. I don't know why they only made them good in the cell missions, but this little workaround will help you make them stronger and more powerful. 
which is awesome. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm gonna be talking about for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know if you tried something like this in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.